All right, I contacted uh, Michael Terry yesterday. He said that these uh, were a certain length long, and I got it right for that. But he also said that the uh, tail only wrapped about 80% around the actual uh, stick or thing it was mounted on, which uh, makes sense. And so what I'm doing is I'm cutting away 20% of the tail off of uh, my armature. Time to play with some clay. Okay, so it'd be in a shape like this, which also explains the uh, pictures I've seen of uh, these type of uh, brushes. Now, normally, they'd have some kind of decoration going down the center. The pictures he showed me had beadwork. But uh, I'm going to do the uh, brass tacks like I had originally, only because I think it adds better to the design. I'm sorry, I know this isn't the most exciting moment in sculpture history. <laughs> it's rather like watching water drip off a duck's back in excitement. But uh, it's part of sculpting. You get the uh, boring along with the exciting. Now, this clay will not be done when I take it to the foundry. I'm just getting it to a point where they can figure out what it's going to cost to produce it in bronze. How much it'll cost to make the mold of it. How much it'll cost to cast it. That way I can establish some kind of a price to ask for it once it's in bronze. Right now I haven't a clue. I got an idea in my head, but my idea in my head may be completely off. I made that mistake once. I did a bust of a Native American with a war bonnet. I guessed at the casting cost. When I took it to the gallery and I set the clay up, I guessed at the casting cost because I, you know, at some point you learn to pretty well guess. Well, I was really, really off. And uh, I sold a copy of it to a gentleman in Paris, France, through the gallery. And uh, my casting costs were way off. 
I ended up having to come up, up with $500 out of my own pocket to cover the mold and casting costs. So I made nothing on that bronze sale. And I was actually in the hole. So you got to at least have a good idea before you start asking prices for a piece in clay. Okay, I'm going to build up the blanket just a little bit around her hand and arm. I want her arm pressing down on the blanket, which depresses the blanket. The blanket is not a solid object, so I've got to show some softness to it. All right, I'm going to clean up this hand a little bit with my Ronsonol lighter fluid. Get rid of some of the rough areas. I'm using a stiff brush for this. I can already see the areas that I got to touch up with my sculpting tools. Now this is going to take a while for it to stop, I mean to evaporate. And I'll work on other parts of this clay until then. Alright, the theme of this the whole thing here, this part here, is soft, relaxing, weight, and uh, natural. All right, I'm going to call it quits. I'm and uh, I'll see you all next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.